it's arrived after three weeks of waiting from the on the slow boat from China it's arrived the radio link mini picks says same functions as a pick talk five vibration dampening via software design I wonder how that works and is compatible with all these models rotor helicopter cars boats etc and fixed wing so let's have a look in the box So in the box, it looks like we've got all our bunch of cables. That looks like the on-off switch, the safety switch uh, with the buzzer, uh, etc. Let's have a look what we've got next. Ah, that's the power distribution board. Looks like the power distribution board. Be needing that, be using that. Okay, we got an instruction manual. I uh, haven't looked at that yet. I haven't seen how precise it is or how uh, how detailed it is I say it's the first time I've opened this box okay it looks uh, it looks pretty uh, pretty uh, detailed awfully Chinese on that side and Chinglish on this side but we'll have a look and then we've got the GPS unit okay the GPS unit that comes with it the radio link I think it's CM8 and here we have the mini picks itself quite small which I like it is going to go on to my um, well they call them alien Raptor but the uh, big uh, 450 size quad I've got so I mean it's all working out it's all going to work out I'll just give you a quick overview once it's on my machine. Loads of soldering to do. Thanks a lot. Okay, I don't know if you know, but Radio Link, uh, the mission planner, has its own software, which you get off the Radio Link website. And this is Radio Link 1.3.49.6. I've just uh, updated the firmware on uh, the board. The new board as you can see everything's flashing so i'm hoping everything's done the upload's done so let's connect okay i've got the radio um radio link mini pick fitted it's uh fitted on my quad as you can see i've got it on an anti-vibration mount i know it says you don't need it but i always put it on an anti-vibration mount all the motors are connected gps this is an old um, antenna and I put the GPS on the top I'm working on that now at the moment I've got no GPS it could be because I'm inside right now then so I'm using um, the 10B the FSIA 10B PPM to um, the uh, connection on the mini picks okay then the power module goes around and I've actually fitted power module underneath underneath there so the power module goes to underneath I've got the Q brain which is working fine I'll show you it all working in a minute I am gonna t it does the motors do start when armed so I'm gonna have to uh, change that so got the uh, connector here fixed here there's the buzzer and the arming switch uh, I have got an RSI on this so I'm gonna learn how to do that um, with this uh, controller but we'll have a look so let's turn on the old transmitter and plug her in bear with me that's an alarm going off okay now you get this little beeping to show uh, to tell you it's not armed we then press the arming button okay let's say it's telling you it's ready to be armed let's arm it and they auto start okay so I don't want that to happen so I'm gonna be looking in the software to see if I can uh, I believe it's in the extended parameters to see if I can stop this from automatically starting okay this is it so far thanks a lot bye bye 
Okay, so after playing around for a little bit, I've got the satellites working. Okay, so yeah, got satellite fix, uh, and that's indoors, six satellites. So it took a while, took a while, but yeah, now I've got the um, satellites working. So the next job will be the maiden flight, which I'll try to do either this afternoon or tonight. So everything's working. And I hope this has been informative. It was a quick overview. Uh, we all know that it uses its own software, as I said earlier. But it's exactly the same as RG Pilot, but I think there's something behind the scenes. I'm going to try and find out. Thanks, then. Bye-bye.